Hi, this is Brent with Production Expert, and today I have the pleasure of showing you Smart EQ3 from Sonable. So, if we look at the plugin here, it's a little bit like Smart Reverb, which I reviewed for Production Expert last year. We have some new things like cross-channel processing, which allows us to establish some hierarchy within our mix. We also have the Smart Filter, and we have the option to work in a number of different scenarios with Smart EQ, which will basically save every user a lot of time. So I have this track here. It's a synth track. Let's have a listen to it. And if I want to make some EQ decisions, it's as simple as go into the toggle down menu here and look for a patch. If one doesn't exist, Universal will detect the incoming source material and create a custom profile. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to learn with the smart filter and start my playback. So what Smart EQ has done here is it's created a Smart Filter and the Smart Filter, which is the green here, shows us the incoming source material after it's been processed. It uses an automatic suggestion in the EQ view and we can adjust quite a few parameters down the bottom here, such as the frequency range which it is occupying and also the strength. So if I was to toggle the slopes, for example, this would adjust both the high and low pass filters and make them either steeper or lower. I think they range from around 12 to 96, so very steep. We can also occupy the Hertz region where it is primarily focused. So as you can see, as I adjust there, it's going to focus more to the left or the right, depending on the frequency area that you'd like to change it. I would recommend just leaving it because the decisions that it makes are very advanced and sophisticated. And then we can adjust things like the width so we can maybe tighten the actual EQ portion, make it more of the mid range. Again, I'm just going to leave this for purposes of demonstration, but let's have a listen to how it sounds now. So we can hear it's already cleaned up some of the sort of high mid issues and it's give us a little bit of a low mid bump to bring up some of the areas of the EQ which we're starting to lack. I think you have a lot of time saving features here. So even if you're a seasoned pro or you're just a bedroom producer and you're second guessing a lot of things, this will help eliminate stuff like masking and problematic EQs and resonance. And if you're someone working in post or a more sophisticated scenario, we also have some advanced parameters down the bottom here for mid side processing. So not only is this a huge time saver, but it's an educational tool for beginners, as well as a very sophisticated tool for seasoned pros working in the post and mastering process. I think where Smart EQ really comes into its own is with the group mode. So here's a group that I made before called Synths, and basically we have L1, L2, L3. This is layer one, layer two, and layer three. If we think about the layers like this, layer one is the lead layer. So this is the most prominent thing in the mix that you wanna be kept in the limelight. Layer two are sort of supporting tracks, things that might be constant, but not requiring as much attention, things like drums and guitars. And then our final layer here are background layers, things that are solid to the foundation of the track, but don't necessarily need to be at the front of the mix. Even if we apply Smart EQ on all of our different tracks, we are going to get a nice balanced sound, but the actual overall con cohesive mix is still going to be a little bit of a fight for presence. So this is where the group of learning all of the different elements comes in. So the track that I just played there, Wobbly Chords, I'm going to put on number one because this is probably the most prominent area of the synths. Then these two here, I'm going to keep on layer two and the same for layer three. I've also already made some adjustments to these on their own individual channels. Now what I'll do is I'll play them all back and I will make an overall adjustment to learn all of them. Now we can also change the group impact, which just actually analyzes the cross channel processing and makes it either stronger or weaker, depending on how you feel the decision has been made. But ultimately now we have individual tracks that have been EQ'd using the smart algorithm here. And we also have them group EQ'd as well. So there's no issues in terms of the focus in the mix. So let's have a listen to all of the group channel processing as well as the individual processing. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm hearing a big adjustment there already in terms of the EQ, but also the balance. The group feature really makes that a standout feature for this plugin, if I'm honest. I think that the actual algorithm is great, it's sophisticated, it saves you a lot of time. But in terms of getting a, a balanced sound with EQ, that's a really fantastic time saver and something that a lot of people will be second guessing when it comes to mixing. So even if you're a pro or if you're someone at the very bottom and you're just learning things, I think Smart EQ could be a great educational tool and a great tool that you can use throughout your mixing career. So I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.